What's up gamers? Today we're going to take a scroll through the latest crowdfunding news for the board game campaigns we've been following. This isn't a complete catch up, but I'm trying to cover what's happened in the last two weeks or so for many of these campaigns. Anything further back and I'll have to leave that to your own digging to get caught up on. Thank you to all of my Patreon members who have supported me over the last year and a half. You all are amazing and I hope I can spread more of that love back here in the future. And thank you to all of you who submitted dad jokes for the contest. The winners have been announced on the Patreon page. I'm going to intentionally skip over the live campaigns and such this week. I'm getting my head back in the game, so pardon the interruption. This section will return shortly. So without further ado, let's get to the news. First up, Cthulhu Death May Die's team is starting to receive their first samples from the now-completed files for the game. These samples all go through an approval process, and then will enter mass production. For those wanting to jumpstart, the final version of the rulebook is available for download. Eldfall Chronicles Northern Wind dropped a quick update before the start of the new year, showing off some of their amazing sculpts for the game. The Nekomata became an instant favorite for me. Community Mission 1 is available on Tabletop Simulator for Phantom Epoch. Files are being submitted to the manufacturer now. Shipping prices will soon be locked down, and they'll discuss those charges in an update being released soon. For the ongoing Trudvon Legends saga, the mass production of printed and plastic components were hit with a few weeks delay, but should be completed soon. Assembly will begin mid-January, and realistically freight shipping will begin after Chinese New Year. Sound the alarm! Delivery is imminent for the Dungeons & Lasers 5 project. This update, they shared a peek at the bestiary and RPG campaign books, which both look fantastic. They'll be handling the distribution themselves, and it looks like they'll hardly beat their original April 2024 estimate. Hats off to the Archon team. If you happen to have forgotten to close out your GameFound Pledge Manager, there's still time. Go get it done. Most of the shipments for Black Rose Wars Rebirth are in ports now. A lucky few in the EU and UK are already receiving their packages with more going out every day. Ships should have docked in the US just before New Year's. Oceana packages are in port now. Asian shipments are starting to go out. Rules and print and play materials for a special legendary scenario in the Lodge are available for download in the update. PDFs are now available for the RPG portion of the Batman Gotham City Chronicles. An email is making its way to backers who pledged for PDF copies. There was a slight delay with production, but they still hope to ship everything out before Chinese New Year. More to come very soon. Remember, Monolith is also gearing up for their January 16th Conan Red Nails campaign. Sadly, Iridia has been hit with some delays. Delivery for the project has been shifted to fall of 2024, and a roadmap of the major milestones was posted showing pre-production copies happening this month, reviews happening in February, final changes happening in March, and mass production beginning April through July. Freight is scheduled for September and October, with last mile shipping happening in November. Individual milestone timelines are subject to change, but they expect to stick fast to their fall deadline. The pages are complete and printed for Book 3 of the Legendary Kingdom series, Pirates of the Splintered Isle. A little work needs to be done to correct the Collector's Edition covers, and hopefully they'll be approved soon. This project is far too long on the tooth, sadly. I love the books, but I hate the waste and consistent excuses and blame of third parties. Boat names have been released for the ships carrying Euthia Torment of Resurrection and its expansions to backers around the world. You may now stock your package as it moves towards port. The ship for the US was due in the port of Houston on January 4th. The ship for Australia is already docked and departed, as has the ship for Canada. The ships for the EU and UK are still en route with no solid ETA yet. Harakiri Blades of Honor showed off the final production samples of the year. The miniatures are continuing to look fantastic. Production of the miniatures and accessories is officially underway for the project. Correction of production proofs has continued to ensure the best results possible from the factory. The team is looking forward to delivery in 2024 and possible smaller experiences on the horizon. The Flyos team is in the midst of creating a web and mobile application for Vampire Masquerade's chapters. They hope to release it in December, but now it's slipped to a beta release in January. Collaboration, and I say that with air quotes, has resumed with Games Quest, and hopefully those poor soulless that are waiting on their copies will see them before too long. A reprint and expansion is due to hit crowdfunding early in 2024. This edition will come minus physical books and will offer an epilogue with three new clans and six scenarios. 
Leaving out the physical books will cut costs, but it's honestly probably being done because they still haven't been able to offer a clearer rata or better version of the rulebook. The metal dice are still in progress and will be shipped as soon as they're ready. Stickers as errata will be made available in the months following the new Kickstarter campaign. Ouch, that's a long wait for an errata. Wave 1 fulfillment is nearing the end for Novus Aetis Renaissance. I know I got my shipping notification for my second box of Wave 1 content just a few days ago. In the EU and UK and South America, fulfillment is complete. North America is almost complete. Oceania and Asia and the Middle East is fulfillment complete. Translated materials are on the press and should be done in the second half of January. These should ship out before Chinese New Year. A quick update was shared by Dark Venture, showing off the cassette tape, including the fold-out map and digital download code. This is such an awesome little addition. Meanwhile, digital files are being prepared for printing, and they're awaiting digital proofs for review. Circling back to Flyos, Werewolf Apocalypse Retaliation will be closing the doors of its pledge manager on January 31st. Make sure and get your shipping paid. They're offering split payments to help shoulder the shipping for this project. While offering split payments on a shipping is a kindness, Maybe we've gone too far if we have to split it into multiple payments. Maybe it's just me, though. A sample of the Earth Under Siege Flashpoint has reached Dark Horizon Games, and while they're extremely pleased with it, there were a few minor adjustments that needed to be made. One adjustment is they're switching to a socket-style box that will better accommodate all the trays that'll keep your game well organized. We're also looking at binding styles for the books. German and French translations are nearing completion, and they'll be sent out to the factory with the quickness. A quick update from Company of Heroes 2nd Edition shows off the bottom portion of the improved HQ tier building boards. Production remains on pace for quarter 2 of 2024. I believe that's a quarter 2 delivery and not production start. Shipping for Dungeons of Doria is underway. They may have missed Christmas delivery for most, but Christmas for Dungeon Crawlers is coming very soon. U.S. and Canada should be seen tracking numbers soon. Europe and the rest of the world should get their tracking from GamesQuest. Mine came in this weekend, so I can confirm U.S. shipments are going out. I never saw tracking, though. The Dark Quarter is due for a big update in January to discuss exactly where all the parts of the project are at. As of now, we know pretty much all of the unique artwork is complete, almost 300 pieces of art for cards and other components. Mythwind is getting closer and closer to backers, if you don't already have it in hand. For the US, there was a customs hold, and shipping should be happening now. In Canada, they're shipping out games. In Australia and New Zealand, shipping should be started. In Europe and the rest of the world, fulfillment should be starting now if it has not already. Asia and some of the rest of the world is already mostly complete. They also have announced a new expansion and reprint campaign coming very soon. Yearly price adjustments have happened for the Kingdom's Forlorn Pledge Manager. Prices for new backers and old backers picking up new stuff have gone up slightly. Shipping, however, remains the same and should all the way through fulfillment. Most of the team has been out on holiday, so the update was a smaller one. The Dungeon Crusade reprint is pretty much shipped and should be in backers' hands by now or the very near future. 2024 will see a new expansion and a new Chapter 1 game in the Dungeon Crusade universe. Roger links a few great videos in the update if you're looking for more content on the game, including an unboxing and a playthrough. Stone Saga internal testing continues and they've shared a new timeline for the project. Early February we'll see open beta invitations going out. March we'll get core box files to the translators and the factory. April they'll send the expansion files out, and May the pledge manager will close for good. Corvus Bellius shared some of the Death Claws of the Dream tiles from the Warcrow Adventures project. They also released the main soundtrack for the game on YouTube and linked it in the update. They plan to return in January with more news on the campaign. A quick update for Kingdom Death Monster caps off the year. The Black Knight is officially on the seas and headed towards destinations around the globe. Frog Dog digital samples have arrived at the studio and they're now awaiting production proofs. They really want to get it complete before Chinese New Year. Kingdom Death Simulator has been exploding with activity and they've left a little holiday gift for owners. All backer pledges for Fractal Beyond the Void are now shipped. Retail orders will ship in early January. They've just returned to the office this week, so if you're waiting an answer to an email, it should be coming soon. 
The end is nigh for Marvel Zombicide. Shipping is complete for most destinations except the east coast of the U.S. and a few South American countries. Miniatures for Elden Ring are going through the pre-production process now, and the resin masters are looking pretty sharp. Blade, the Half Wolf, the Mad Pumpkin Head, and the Tree Sentinel are the ones that really caught my eye. Madara has sent out several updates, so we'll go with the latest and greatest. Wave 1 fulfillment nears and is ongoing. In the US, deliveries should be happening the week of January 15th. In Canada, they're done. In Europe, they should start shipping soon. Australia fulfillment is happening now, and Asia has varying dates, but the games are going out. This update goes into detail on exactly what's in the 1.2 update kit. It's looking like a reprint of every card in the game in their newest form. It's not necessary to enjoy your 1.0 or 1.1 playthrough, and will not be required for chapters 2 and 3. It's more of a nice to have item. They've also opened a web store with quite a bit of goods on offer. Any Wave 1 items will not ship until backers have their items. Wave 2 progress sits at 89% and the last 10% of that consists of public playtesting, dev analysis and integration, and preparing files for print. It's getting close. Fulfillment is about to get underway for Soul, Last Days of a Star. The fulfillment centers have received all of the games and the inserts and shipping should already be started. The replacement kit timeline for Unsettled is weirding me out a bit. Probably only because I'm one of the people in the awkward position of waiting for just the kit to ship as I've already received my game. They haven't really said anything about the few of us. For everyone else, the kits should be going out with your new games now. Finally, Tanaris RPG PDFs have gone out through Drive-Thru RPG. The physical books are looking snazzy and that black slipcase is quite sexy. They're aiming at a March-April timeline for fulfillment complete. Hopefully things go much smoother for this part of the campaign shipping. So that's it. Anything newer will be included in the next video, hopefully out early next week. I hope everyone had an amazing holiday season. Plenty of good food to eat and maybe even a little r and I'll be back next week with news again, and I'm spinning up some of those newer videos to sprinkle in when I have time. Thanks to everyone watching, commenting, and supporting the channel on Patreon. If you haven't already, a quick free subscribe helps little channels like this grow and it does wonders for my personal motivation. Have a great week and play something fun tonight.